Okay, we're on. Good. Hello, this is uh, Tom Barnhart from uh, Business Polska, and I'm here today with Paul Hackett, who is the CEO and, and co-founder of Click and Go out of the UK, out of Ireland. And um, Paul's going to tell us a little bit about their very recent plans to expand into Poland from their HQ headquarters in, in Ireland. But uh, Paul, thanks again for taking some time this morning. Tell us a bit about your plans uh, in, for Poland and uh, a bit of background of where you guys have come from. Good to talk to you, Tom. Well, Kick and Go are an Irish company. We're based here in Dublin, and effectively we're a holiday company. And what we try and do is make it simple, easy, and convenient for consumers to book their holidays online. So we had opened in Ireland in 2010, so we're eight years trading, and uh, doing pretty well in the Irish market in terms of our penetration as to, as to what we're achieving. And we were looking at international expansion and did some massive amount of market research across all of the European markets to see where we might have similarities and there might be opportunities for Click and Go. Because effectively what we are is we are a travel tech company. So we sell holidays and that's the travel piece, that's the revenue into the business. Mm -hmm. But the tech piece is what we have built and we have been building over the last eight years and that's the back office system and our front end, our website. And that technology is totally transferable into different markets. Why, why, is, why, is that, why is that technology different than anyone else that has that type of a system? What's unique about it? Well, most of our competitors are using third-party technology. So they're buying in something off the shelf from another company, as against what we have done, which is a bunch of travel experts effectively sitting down and saying, our ideal system would do X, Y, and Z. Okay. The, tra the travel industry is, is constantly changing. Like, you know, it's like every industry. Like, it's driven by tech, so it's constantly changing. So if we bought somebody's off-the-shelf system, that off-the-shelf system is not going to move at the pace that we want to move. So our system has direct integrations with the airlines, direct integrations with the bed banks. Bed banks effectively are the trade name for accommodation suppliers for holidays. And it also allows us to negotiate directly with hoteliers and load those contracts into our system. Okay. We have other integrations with the transfer companies. So the whole holiday is being put together live when the consumer is searching on the website. Now, there's nothing unique about that. There's loads of websites that do that. What we do differently is we give you the holiday price up front. Okay. And that's what the consumer is used to seeing when they're buying a holiday. It's not component building. It's not, here's my flight, now at a hotel, now at a transfer. Mm -hmm. that, they're not quite sure what the price is until they get to the end step. Okay, yeah. With, you're getting the holiday price up front, so it's knowing what you're going to spend up front, and it's having that... Um, platform that's very easy to, to transfer. So Ireland has been our only market up to now, but in Ireland we have had clickandgo.com and we've also got a second brand called Holidays with Aer Lingus, which we run for the, the national airline here, Aer Lingus. Yeah. And that was the first hint for us that our technology and our platform is transferable into other markets. And you, so tell us about Poland. How did you decide on Poland? What are the kind of the factors that made that be the market you go into first? Well, we, we did, we did chunk of research and we looked at really three key areas. We looked at the propensity for the consumer to consume online. So how likely are they to buy online? We also looked at the level of competition that exists in our space within those markets. And the third factor was the level or the amount of low cost air flights available. And Poland has now got a massive amount of low cost scheduled airlift with Ryanair, with Wiz and with Norwegian. Yes. So the, 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 the background pieces were right. The, the level of competition in Poland was low, propensity to consume online was good, and the availability of low-cost airlift was good. And add to that the 35 million population that exists in Poland relative to 4 million in Ireland, and you can see why Poland's an attractive proposition for us. Okay, great. So where are you in the process of launching and getting started here? And you're so, being in Warsaw, I understand, in Warsaw, yes? Yes, our office is in Warsaw. So we, uh, our country manager, Michael Glauer, uh, started working with us in January. He started to build his team there in the Warsaw office. Uh, the office was acquired in April, and the website, clickandgo.com, went live in July. So okay. all of the pieces of the jigsaw are now moving, and we're trading. We're doing all of the initial learning pieces, understanding consumer behavior, looking at the analytics, and all of that piece. <laughs> and one thing that we may look at Poland also to do what we have been good in Dublin at is all of the key job functions are based out of the Dublin office. So all of the, all of the, from the call center to the holiday support team to product finance, marketing, uh, all of the, all of the functions and IT development are in Dublin. We're struggling at the moment in the Irish market because the economy is reaching full full employment to hire 
in key sectors like IT development and like digital marketing. Yes. So now that we have the office in Poland and it's totally integrated and connected into our Dublin office, there's nothing to stop us looking at hiring skilled staff locally in Poland who can serve both businesses, who can serve Ireland and Poland. So that's one opportunity that we're now looking at since the office is open in Poland, in addition to getting the brand established. Yeah, I guess you'll find that uh, increasingly uh, attractive to you as you get used to this market, because I think you will find that you'll be able to hire very good people here on the IT technology side and marketing side, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what we're seeing, that's what we're hearing from, from Michael and from the staff in Warsaw. Um, we had always wanted to have the IT development team on one site in Dublin, but that is just... It's just, it's just no longer a possibility in the Irish economy. Like it's, it's full employment, and in Dublin we're competing with all of the European multinationals whose headquarters are here. Yes. So for semis like ourselves, that's a challenge. So in terms of staff, people that you have on the ground in Poland, you, you must not need to scale up too much if you've got most of it done already in Dublin. What, is your, what are your numbers, would you guess, a year from now? Go out one or two years from now. Well, in Ireland, we currently have a staff of 60, and we started at four. Okay, great. So at the moment, we have a staff of three. But that's a, that's a very small startup staff yeah. like that we are expecting is going to hit 10 by the end of year two and grow exponentially. Okay. What we always like to do is provide a call center functionality in addition to the website. So, yeah, we have a great website and if consumers want to book online, it's all seamless and easy to do. But holidays are a fairly big purchase and a lot of time consumers want a bit of advice or else they need to talk to somebody after they've made the booking because they might want to make a change. So for us, the call center piece is critical and we have that in Dublin. 362 days a year we will be doing the same in Poland but we don't want our Polish consumers phoning through to an Irish call center we want them speaking directly to Polish nationals who understand exactly what they're looking for who understand the nuances of their holiday requirements and you know that's a key provision also the product piece will be slightly different holidays are fairly similar in terms of different markets but each market is different as to their preference for resort their preference for accommodation their preference for board bases so we need experts like Michael and his team who know exactly because they've come from the industry in Poland. They've come from the travel industry and it's a, it's a, it's a very well serviced industry in Poland. And we will need to build out that. So definitely uh, the call center, definitely the product piece, also local marketing because that expertise is there. The consumers who know, the consumers who are working for us, you know, themselves yes. know exactly what Polish consumers are going to be looking for when it comes to holidays. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, good luck with the startup, Paul, and thanks for the time this morning, and uh, I think you've made a good decision, right, Market? And uh, we'll check back in with you in about a year or so. Great, look forward to it, Tom. Thanks, Paul.